Hello, this is uh, Industrial Control Circuit Troubleshooting 1, 4th module. Now we are doing extra skill test number 9. The work order say the system was unable to shut down and unable to restart. So what's the problem? Let's dive in. As usual, I usually try to check, try to check visually the external device and the circuit to see whether I can find something wrong. And that, after that, I will run the process and observe any anomaly from the process. So from what I see from here, there is no power supply to the lighting. Okay, that's why there is no lighting at the on the control panel. So maybe the EMO will press. Actually, the EMO is just okay. Or there is no power supply. There is no power supply to the fuse because the fuse is blue. Okay, so I can measure. Okay, the fuse to double confirm is the fuse blows or not. Okay, the fuse is blown. Okay, as we know, fuse blows because of short circuit. Short circuit can be earth fault or short circuit to earth or device or load internally short circuit. No matter what, in order to check the fault, we have to measure the resistance. But resistance can never be measured live, so we have to cut off the main power supply and perform local takeout and verify the local takeout is done properly. Okay, and we have to open both ends in order to check the fault, whether a fault or device internally short circuit. Okay, usually what I do is I will open the common neutral end and also open the common life and for me I can remove the fuse okay and to check the earth fault remember to put the black probe at the earth point and the red probe at the other end okay if the circuit is very good under these circumstances the resistance reading is OL or open circuit okay if there's a res resistance reading no matter small or big as long as there's a resistance there is a fault Okay, if there is no resistance, if the resistance is OL open circuit, it can be because circuit is good or device internally short circuit. Okay, so now there is a resistance reading here. So what is wrong here? By looking at the circuit, we know that resistance reading means there is an earth fault. Earth fault can happen in any other parallel circuit. Okay, in order to help us to check the Effort or device international circuit. We I always employ a strategy strategy called divide and conquer. Divide the big chunk of circuit into small separate parallel circuit and conquer by the solving the effort one by one. Okay. This is a strategy and always check the effort at before the load at the load and after the load. So as I know. Okay, based on the what I see from the process, okay, the current will branch out into two. When I say branch or divide, it means parallel. Okay, you will branch out par parallelly to this path and another to this path because this path and this path do not have any open circuit, right? So what I will do the first step is I will. Check the earth fault before the load by opening power point one ready point one. If you give me open circuit, that means there is no earth fault before the load. Okay, let's do it. Power one and ready one. Okay, there's so open circuit means there's okay. Okay, now I will normalize the wiring connection and open power point two and ready point two to check the a fault at the load. If the resistance reading is OL open circuit, that means there is no a fault before the load and at the load. If there is a resistance reading, meaning there is a fault, a fault at the load. Okay, let's do it. Okay, normalize and open point two. Normalize, open point two. Okay, open circuit. That means there is a there is no a fault. Okay, before the load and at the load, but there is a fault after the load. Okay, so now the next step, the third step is we have to connect one point only. For me, I will connect point two. 
okay then shift the red pro the multimeter to point two for easier troubleshooting of course this is a personal preference you can leave the red pro at point two of the fields if you want there's nothing wrong no right or wrong okay so i will connect back the point two and put the red probe at point two of power lighting okay there's still resistant reading that means there's a fault okay now we repeat the troubleshooting step that we did just now so simple divide the circuit use the strategy strategy of divide conquer divide the circuit into separate parallel circuit okay and then conquer it by checking the earth fault one by one okay the method is still the same checking the earth fault before the load at the load and after the load how do we know the parallel circuit very easy we can assume the current flow flow from the multimeter to point two then to here or we can assume that the earth fault always happen after the parallel circuit example at this parallel circuit a current flow here it will branch out into two paths then after they combine then it will short circuit to earth so this is these two paths consider one parallel circuit okay let's say there is a earth fault happen at this point after the parallel circuit so when the current flow from the multimeter through point two then to this path it will branch out into four paths one first path second path third path fourth path why because current come here branch out into two path then you will come to here join with, join with the current from the third path and fourth path then short, short circuit to earth so this first path second path third path and fourth path form a parallel circuit and so on this is considered normal circuit because there is no other component to form a parallel circuit right no matter what the concept of troubleshooting remains the same okay now let's move on we do not know where is the earth fault happen it can happen in this normal circuit it can happen in this parallel circuit it can happen in this parallel circuit and so on we do not know but we can assume temporarily that earth fault happens somewhere at one of the parallel circuit this is just a temporary assumption to make our troubleshooting easier let's say i assume okay the earth will happen here okay after this parallel circuit actually so when the, if this when this the earth fault here okay the current will flow through this path and straight to be divide or branch out into four paths what first path second third fourth why because current will come here join together with the current from second path third path fourth path then short circuit to earth right okay so if this is so when the when we check the earth fault before the load at this parallel circuit what happened is the resistance remain unchanged because if the short circuit happened here all the current must always flow through this path and short circuit to the earth because current only flow through the path with least resistance that's why the resistance always remain the same okay let's just do it we start from this parallel circuit okay r97 and alarm 2 r97 and alarm 2 okay resistance never change it means it is okay now we check the effort at the load okay so we normalize the wiring connection here it then disconnect the wiring connection at r92 and alarm one okay r92 and alarm one resistance still remain the same so by doing so i know that resistance remain the same when i checking the earth fault before the load and at the load of course i can continue to check the earth fault after the loop but i don't think it's necessary because i know that if resistance remain unchanged okay before the loop and add the load it will be the own, the same after the loop so i can save my time and and proceed to troubleshoot other parallel circuit okay so now i proceed to r8 r1 r2 r3 r4 okay i will normalize r9 and then alarm okay now i need to do for r8 
seven resistance still the same r82 still the same now i proceed with r1 although the resistance increased a lot but i can temporarily assume that highest resistance equal to open circuit this is just a temporary assumption although it's not really correct okay r2 still the same resistance r3 see the resistance increase a lot so i temporarily assume it is open circuit so when open circuit means the resistance there is no effort before the circuit okay before the path okay in this case r37 okay here before r37 before the load is okay okay and r32 and r47 r42 okay that's okay here then we proceed with r77 ah there's an open circuit meaning when r77 i disconnect the resistance is open circuit that means the there's no effort before this r7 load okay when i put back there's a resistance meaning the effort happened at the load or after the load so when i open uh, when i open the r7 to if it give me an open circuit reading it means the there's no effort at the load and before the load okay if there's a resistance reading that means there's effort at the load understand r7 2 still open circuit okay now r7 2 i open and register reading open circuit that means there's no effort before the load and at the load the effort must be happen after the load so we can check from r7 2 r7 2 to tb2 26 here okay so what we can do is here he give you open circuit that means the path before tb226 is okay okay we can continue to check this one to tb121 tb1 and 21 here okay now we put back tb121 okay now this simulation actually has some bug because based on my experience before that actually this wire is actually short circuit to earth it show you uh how do i say it show you something like zero ohm okay because wire has lowest resistance so the resistance should be somewhere below two ohm it should show you about zero to two ohm but somehow or rather it show you nine thousand one hundred ohm which is uh, uh really a, a bug so we can just assume actually the resistance reading is around uh less than two ohm okay another way to check it to double confirm we can disconnect here and then measure the resistance here and it show you zero ohm this is the correct way to double confirm so that we know this is a uh, the effort happened at this wire okay so we can change this wire and then can measure one more time to double confirm okay there's an open circuit here that means there's no longer any effort here so now we can normalize all the circuit connection all the wiring connection make sure there's no more wiring disconnected okay okay then replace the fuse then remove the lockout takeout okay now we can run the process if we want so the circuit is okay now because it's able to run as per normal 